All right, lovies, happy Sunday to you. There she is, um, all the papers, you know, you know that makes me happy. So I uh, laid down some, just uh, this, this whole um, paper pack is a new collage pack that will be available to you in the um, shop. If you're a subscriber, you will get a coupon for dollars off on that, so it'll only be like a couple of dollars. Um, but it's got all of those. Let me see here. Let me grab. What did I do? So they're all from some really great vintage books. So, Bird Book. This is a Benton. I don't remember what book this is from. A die cut book, math book. This is really cool. These pieces here are from this Asian um, Masters um, book that I got. At, I found at a secondhand store, which I just love. And most of them are in this black and white and kind of dusty. Oh, it's so good. Um, and then a couple pages are from this call book. It's um, for how teaching gentlemen how to dance, and it's from um, 1889. Um, so lots of really great papers um, in this collage pack that'll be available for you. And then I used, whoops, then I used some tea bags in there because I wanted some texture, not a ton. But I wanted some some more lovely goodness, and then of course some pattern paper to give me even more texture. But I, the the tea bags are if you've never tried it, you should try it because they're wonderful because they become transparent. I mean they have that tea stain, so you get this kind of aged look. Ah, uh, yeah, goodness, very very yummy, yummy good. Um, so. Uh, then I used, um, these are Daler, Dollar and Rowney F&W, the acrylic inks. And I just used two colors in the background. Um, I don't know what colors these are. 
magenta and I don't know scarlet something like that I guess I should put my glasses on scarlet that was pretty close and then I also added in the mix my um, fluid or high flow these are high flows um, acrylics and yellow oxide transparent yellow oxide and then teal to give it a more to kind of move it to these two colors were to kind of move it to that aged look um, and then I, I needed a pop of color to just add to the the other color these two colors and then this is just one of my favorites it's um, the same inks but it's sepia <laughs> it's good very very good um, put my little bird down that'll also be in the collage pack and then I used stencils today that I used I used the um, geo fl uh, flower pattern here I used the scribbles these little stitch marks I used vintage postage numbers and then this is the garden one I don't know where it went to how does that happen when you're creating how do you lose stuff I don't know oh here uh, the garden this is garden two the splatters for I wanted to really control what was happening here because I wanted this to I really wanted the paper to show through so I wanted to be very careful about what I was adding to this and there was already a ton of interest but but the blacks out the blacks and the white out here are all they are they're neutralizing and they they keep the eye moving so that it doesn't feel naked um, so splatters and then um, my old type text for the letters oh and then I used these my vintage stamps mm, for some additional goodness out here um, and then because I like I said I was being very deliberate about making sure that the paper showed through I brought out my pastels and these are soft pastels they're not oil they're chalk so um, I, I use them a lot um, I haven't used them a lot lately and I want to try and rekindle my love for them but what you need to remember is if you're using pastels to spray with a workable fixative which I have to do every time I do a piece because I work with charcoal so make sure you spray with a workable fixative um, I've had questions about can I use hairspray and um, you can initially to keep it from smearing but you'll want to spray it with a because hairspray is water soluble and you're going to end up wanting to put a sealer over the top of your work um, unless you don't if you're, you're just working in a journal a hair, hairspray will be fine if that's your last layer you're not doing anything else hairspray will be fine but I use the the fixative because I sell my work and so I need to seal it all right so I think that's that's all um, super easy peasy just a lot of fun and play and trying to really use different materials and things like that so this uh, it says never too late to fly and I had a um, gal email me this week and she was talking about her passion her dreams for creating and things like that and she's older she's of the older age like me and um, and I'm 53 so she was a few years older and um, she kind of led to the assumption that her time was over for following her dreams and her passion that it had come and gone and it was you know there just wasn't anything left for her to do and I just of course don't believe that not for a second not even for a second I don't care how old you are it is never too late ever 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 I don't care and, and it's you're it's, you're never too young and you're never too old to, to really step out of that that comfort zone and go for your dreams or 
whatever it make the call seek the relationship but it you there's never I don't know who told us that there was an expiration on our dreams because there's not and I was I had been painting my whole life but raising kids and having to provide for them and all that kind of stuff I always had a job and I, I did it on the side and I, you know, it would come and go and sometimes I would sell a lot of art and sometimes it, you know, it, it just wasn't, it wasn't my reality. My reality was I needed health insurance and things like that. And, and that's okay. And that's the, the season and the time that we're in. And then I got, th you know, my kids left the house and did all of that. And I was 47 hmm, or 8, 40, no, 46. I don't know how old. And um, I said, "Gosh darn it! I'm not too old. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it." And little by little, um, of course, I didn't quit my job right away. But I said, "This is a serious. This is, the, this is the deal. I'm going all in, and I'm not looking back." And here I am, and I get to make my living every day, um, painting and doing what I love, and. Um, encouraging people and making awesome stencils and I mean there's so many different facets to what I do and how I am able to make money to pay the bills and that kind of thing and I'm I, I just want to encourage you that if somewhere along the line somebody said it's too late or you're too young or you're too this or you're not that or what I want you to say you tell them get out of here you this is this is your life and no one gets to make those decisions except for you and I, I want you to grab hold of the fear because it's it's crazy scary to take the risk but grab hold of that fear and walk with it and talk to it and say we're gonna do this and it's gonna be crazy scary but I'm I'm going for it I just want to encourage you today to not give up on your dreams love I don't care where you are it might not be the season right this second but keep keep writing down those dreams keep doing small steps keep doing little things that are moving you forward to really taking hold and going for it all right loves I hope your Sunday is awesome Hope it's restful it's finally sunny here in Ohio and I'm loving it and I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope that you always always know that you are loved mm -hmm.